It's Easter here at the Squib household, and it's been a very busy day for me. I've been chasing a computer problem all day long. I've been trying to record and edit videos. I've been trying to get caught up on some of the videos from the channels I like, like to watch. I've been commenting on those videos and shorts. I've been responding to comments on my videos. I've done a little bit of yard work because it's a nice day. As a matter of fact, you might hear some traffic from the highway nearby because it's a nice day. A lot of motorcycles have been out. I've been trying to, to do some chores like cleaning and whatnot around the house. And I volunteered to cook most of Easter dinner. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I suck at cooking. I absolutely suck at cooking. You've got to have the temperature right. You've got to preheat. You've got to let things cool down. You've got to... You, you've, you've, you've got, I mean, just all these things with the directions. I mean, look at this. This is a loaf of frozen wheat bread. You have to let it set out and rise all day before you bake it. I'm no good at this stuff, guys. Really, I'm, I'm no good at it. And with me multitasking today and just running all over the place, it's been busy. It's been stressful. I think it's time for a drink. So I decided to continue to multitask by killing two birds with one stone, more or less, I get myself some wine to relax, and I can shoot a Cocktails with Squib, a wine review. I'll be reviewing Kim Crawford Illuminate Sauvignon Blanc. Now, this is not the first Kim Crawford wine I've had or shot a review video on, but it might be the first one that you see on this channel. The other one I never edited, loaded in the studio, or published. I found the files. When I was going through, lately I've been looking at old video files, looking for incomplete projects and things like that, and trying to go back and complete them to see if I can actually publish them. And I actually reviewed a Kim Crawford Rosé. So you might see a video on that, you might not. I might have to get another bottle and reshoot it, I don't know. But for now, I'm gonna re review this second Kim Crawford wine. This is a white wine from New Zealand and I can tell you right away, this is chick wine. This is bitch wine. Because on the label on the front, it says right here, 70 calories per serving. If you're worried about the calories, it's definitely chick wine. Another red flag to tell me that it's, it's bitch wine is that it's 7% alcohol by volume. So more or less, if you want to get any, you're going to have to give her the whole bottle. Uh, I'm just saying. So... It's not very strong. It doesn't have a lot of calories. As a matter of fact, on the back of the bottle, there is nutritional information. And it does say that a serving is five fluid ounces, which I don't really consider a lot. It's got zero grams of fat, four grams of carbs, zero grams of protein. And it's supposed to have notes of passion fruit and guava. There's another sign. This is chick wine. So I'm, I'm going to take one for the team on this one and try it out. Now this is at room temperature and it's setting on an oven that has a pie baking in it. So it's not like uh, it's chilled or anything. But after I open it, I will chill it. Now it's got a simple twist off cap. That makes it easy. Once again, this is another indication. This is chick wine. There's no, no uh, corkscrew required or anything else like that. And there wasn't a lot of effort to open that, so I don't think she's going to ask you to open it because uh, her hands aren't strong enough. So, let me, uh, this is the part where I'm supposed to see if it's got legs. Or, forget all that. Let's just smell it. Smells fruity. Yeah, that's probably the guava and passion fruit. I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference between that or some other things, but... It definitely smells fruity. I'm not getting a strong alcohol scent, obviously, because it's 7% alcohol by volume. Yuck. That's not very good. And uh, I believe we bought this on sale. We've actually had this one for probably about six months setting up here. Now, I don't know if the taste might not be so good because it's been exposed to direct sunlight for over six months. We Who knows how long it was sitting on the shelf at the grocery store when we bought it. But one of the reasons we did buy it was because it was on sale. And I said, yeah, I'll do a review video on it eventually or whatever. But um, some wines, 
I've noticed that, in my opinion, they're not worth it unless that you're buying them at the sale price because they're a little bit high priced. I can't remember what this costs, but I did think it was kind of high priced for chick wine. It doesn't taste good at all. Yeah, this is just awful. I mean, maybe chicks like the taste of this stuff, but I it's, I definitely don't. Um, I can't recommend this. Uh, not not. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't recommend this unless, of course, you're you're having a stressful day because you're multitasking and this is all you have to drink. Then uh, why not go for it? Whatever. But um, yeah, it's uh, maybe it's better with a meal. Maybe it'll be better pair, paired with uh, Easter dinner. Uh, so maybe I'll pin a comment later uh, if if uh, if I think that kind of helps. Because sometimes with wine, if you do have a meal with it, it does uh, enhance the taste. It does make it better. So, uh, yeah, if I think so, I'll, I'll pin a comment uh, in the comment section below later on. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm just not going to recommend this one. Uh, it was worth a try. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge and chill it for, for dinner. After I open a wine, I chill it. Otherwise, I normally serve it at room temperature. I didn't give it time to breathe. Normally, I give it about 45 uh, minutes to breathe. I didn't do that. Oh, there's the pie. So, in all fairness, I didn't give it the 45 minutes to breathe at room temperature, and I'm not telling you what it tastes like chilled. If I notice it's a little bit better chilled, I'll also make a comment about that below. Hope everybody had a good Easter. Thanks for watching.